So in this example, we're going to look at how a sales tax would affect consumers and producers. Uh, so the way you measure the effect on consumers of a sales tax, uh, which is what's referred to as tax incidence, um, is by this equation right here. So change in price over change in tax. Uh, you can take this partial derivative, which uh, can be reduced to an equation, which is the elasticity of supply over the elasticity of supply minus elasticity of demand. And so finding elasticity of supply is exactly the same as elasticity of demand, except you take it of the, uh, the supply curve instead of the demand curve. You take the partial derivative of. So... Um, we actually had these two equations last video, and we found that the price of equilibrium is 10, and the quantity is 20. And so knowing this, we have all the information we need to solve for the tax incidence on consumers, which is this dp over dt. So uh, let's find the elasticity of supply first. Uh, so, elasticity of supply, just like elasticity of demand, uh, you take the partial derivative of supply with respect to P, so in this case it's just 2, and then multiplied by P over Q. So in this case, that just equals 1, nice and easy. Uh, elasticity of demand, uh, we can see, uh, take the derivative of demand with respect to P, that's negative 1, and then multiplied by price over quantity, this gives us negative 1 half. And so plugging these into our equation, we have 1 over uh, 1 minus negative 1 half, so these change to plus, get 1 over 3 over 2, which uh, equals 2 thirds. So this means that consumers will pay 2 thirds of any tax instituted. Uh, and how do you find the incidence on uh, producers is you take 1 minus incidence on consumers. And the key here is that these are the fraction of the tax that producers and consumers pay. So they are never greater than 1. Uh, if you have a value that equals 1 th for uh, incidence on consumers, that means they contribute the entire amount of the tax. So here we get uh, consumers will pay two-thirds of any tax instituted and producers will pay one-third because they do one minus incidence on consumers. So these add to one, which is good because producers and consumers together must pay the entire amount of the tax. So that's good. Uh, and now We'll look at it through an algebraic sense. Uh, we actually did this example in our last video, and we found that uh, if we institute a tax of $3, the new equilibrium is price equals 12 and quantity equals 18. And so uh, we can do the same exact thing except without using our calculus. The change in price is really just... Uh, the same as the price new minus price old and uh, same thing for tax so uh, we don't have a tax to start out with so uh, T old is just zero and so we get this price new 12 minus 10 over tax new 3 minus 0 is just 3 and so we get 2 over 3 for the incidence on consumers, which checks out exactly with what we get uh, before we institute the tax. So again, um, after the shift, we get the same as what we expected, which is perfect. And then you can just confirm again that uh, the incidence on producers will be the same. Incidence on producers is 1 minus the incidence on consumers, so it's 1 minus 2 thirds again, 
which is obviously one third, which again checks out. So that's how you find incidents on producers and consumers.